How much are your decanters? Um, just give me one minute, miss. Okay, sure. I'll be right there. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, some of crystal. Uh -huh. Some of them just glass. Mm -hmm. this, is this is one of my favorite hat brands to look out for, Logo 7. There's a lot of 80s and 90s sports brands like Logo 7 and Sports Specialties that I'm always looking out for. Now, these are Super Bowl hats. Super Bowl stuff, especially the modern stuff, is not super, super great to pick up at a yard sale to flip. But this is vintage 2000, so that is the uh, St. Louis Rams, I think, versus the, the Titans, the Tennessee Titans, where they almost got that touchdown at the end, the Kevin Dyson, who went to school. His brothers um, went to school with Don, my girlfriend, if you guys didn't know that. Interesting fact I didn't need to share. But anyway, um, Super Bowl stuff in general I stay away from, but this is vintage, Logo 7, has a story behind it. He had a bunch of them. All of them were new except for one was used. We're gonna see if we can get a deal on it. How much for the hats? Uh, three. Now is this just the extra one of these? Yeah, that's just an extra. I had a different decanter that broke, but I kept that in case I needed it. Oh, well, how much is that one? What, just the top? Mm -hmm. uh, two bucks. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'll take them, it's that price. I don't know if there's anything else I want. No, uh, just those. Here we go. Just four of them. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This next yard sale had one of the better finds we've had in the last couple weeks for sure. These are vintage. You've definitely seen them before. 1998 specials right here. Furbies, new in the package. I, I had to see if I could pick these up at a good price. Remember these? Uh, yeah, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> How much are the Furbies? $5. How many of them? One, two, three. Would you do 20 for all of them? Yeah. Okay. Gosh, what was that? Junior high, maybe? <laughs> That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. They are. Are they scary? The original ones were scary? What? <laughs> they were cute. Remakes at five bucks. Yeah, they're the original 90s. Can you believe it's been 25 years since Furbies were a big, big deal? 1998, they were everywhere. I feel like they were a reaction to the Tickle Me Elmo that was super, super popular. It was all about those moving electronic toys. I found several different types of those from the late 90s. They all do pretty well if you find them new in the package. The Furbies especially are great. They made everything from these original ones all the way down to McDonald's toys. We should be able to get on these particular ones. They're new, sealed in the package, about $35 to $60, somewhere in there each. We do best offer on everything, so it's, it's possible we may take a little less, and maybe we could sell a few at that like full $55, $60 range. But look out for these Furbies. There's some additions that are rare. There's a super uh, multicolorful one that goes for like $300 plus. There is what they call a high C version, which also goes in that range. So if you find those two variants, there's also like a green one that's pretty cool. So look out, I'll put them on the screen here. Look out for these ones. These are the rare ones. But if you're getting them for five or $10 in the package and you look at the bottom and they're from 1998 at five bucks, I'd say, they're definitely worth picking up. Your shoes? Oh wait, no, they have a price. Sorry, they're ten. 
<laughs> she put ten. I just barely looked inside. <laughs> what did she put on? Ten dollars. Size shoe you wear. Those are nines. I'm a nine and a half, but they they're nice shoes well, either way. Well, they're nine and a half. I mean, I don't really, I'm not that worried about that aspect of it. They're just nice the shoes. Duke shoes don't sell half sizes. Uh -huh. They don't, huh? Nope. That's why I'm selling them. I'm an eight and a half, and they're just a little bit. That's kind of cool. Anything you're saying? I'll take these for, for the 10. I think I have, wait, no, I have eight. I got, you got change. Ah, sorry. Yeah. I love them, they're so light. Like you don't have yeah, these are like, the, you ever heard of Hey Dudes before? Uh -uh. Very popular. Isn't I've never actually seen them. Hey Dude? Back in the day there was a TV show, a kid's show, yeah. I loved that show. You Thank, you. Thank, you. It. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. This first time I've ever actually found these. And I've heard about them for years. What are they? They're just popular shoes. I don't know. I don't know. It's more than They're in like new condition too, probably. Well, I think on the low he, end, he like. Them and didn't even... I'd say on the low end, 30, but on the high end, like 60, 70. So that's the first time. I've ever found Hey Dudes out in the wild. I would have liked to have paid five for the pair. 10 was probably on the upper echelon of what I would have been willing to pay. Actually, I wouldn't have paid any more than 10, straight up. If it was more than 10, I would have you know, tried to get it for 10 or less. Um, it seems like in the condition it's in, probably $20 on up. I'm hoping we'll get like 35 to $40 plus shipping. We may or may not get that. I always take offers. I'm a churn and burn seller. I like to move stuff quickly. I don't want to have a museum. That's not my style. So I think that was a good pickup. These were three yard sales in a row in like a little condominium community. It was a little community yard sale. And honestly, one after another, good finds. I love that. I also want to mention everybody that I am going to be at camp listing party at the end of this month in Phoenix, Arizona. I will be speaking, sunny Las Vegas will be speaking, Kevin, the Commonwealth Picker will be there. It's gonna be a great time. Tons of people are gonna be there. Even Harry uh, Tornado, is that his name? Yeah, he's even gonna be there, guys. Whole bunch of people are gonna be there. Stay tuned to my Instagram. I have some tickets to give away. I have two general admission ones in Phoenix and also like hotel accommodations that I'm gonna give away, so stay tuned. I'll do that on IG sometime this week. And also I have five virtual tickets, so you can be anywhere in the US or the world, I guess, and basically watch it live. So stay tuned for that. I'll talk more about that on my Instagram, but I wanted to let you guys know, camp listing party at the end of this month, and then, goodness, next, the month after I'm going to FlipCon, then I'm going to the reseller rally. We're probably gonna do another trash to cash thing. So I just wanted to throw that in at the end of this video to let you guys know if you're interested. Stay tuned on my Instagram. Thank you guys for following, watching this video, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Appreciate you guys.